In this part, we discuss the auto throttle controls and indicators, the thrust, speed, and flight level change modes, and auto throttle disconnect. The auto throttle is a full time system which can be operated from the start of the takeoff roll through an automatic landing or go around. Auto throttle controls and indicators are located on the glare shield, FMS CDU, ICAS, and thrust levers. The auto throttle can be used with or without the autopilot and with or without the flight director. The mode control panel and the FMS CDU provide inputs to the flight management computer. The FMC sends signals to the servo motor, which moves the thrust levers. The flight management computer will be discussed in the FMS module. Let's first look at the mode control panel switches. The auto throttle arm switch is a two position switch. The arm position arms the auto throttle system for activation. These are the four auto throttle select switches. The thrust and speed switches control only the auto throttle. The VNAV and flight level change switches affect both the auto throttle and the autopilot flight director system. VNAV is discussed in the Autoflight LNAV and VNAV module. Pushing an auto throttle select switch selects the mode. Auto throttle mode engagement is displayed on the PFD. Thrust limits can be selected manually with the FMS CDU. Thrust limits are selected automatically by the flight management computer when in VNAV. Selecting a thrust on the FMS CDU displays the active thrust reference limit on ICAS. This display does not depend on auto throttle status. Let's look at an example of thrust mode operation during an auto throttle takeoff. First, the auto throttle must be armed. The desired takeoff thrust mode is selected on the FMS CDU during pre flight. This will be discussed in the FMS module. Pushing a toga switch displays thrust reference on the PFD. The auto throttle advances the thrust levers to the selected limit. The servo moves the thrust levers together. The electronic engine controls, or EECs, then adjust each engine to attain the selected thrust setting. The EEC is discussed in the power plant modules. As airspeed reaches 65 knots, throttle hold engages. When throttle hold is active, Hold is displayed on the PFDs, and auto throttle control signals are removed from the thrust lever servo motor. During the remainder of the takeoff, thrust can be manually adjusted by the flight crew if necessary. Pushing the toga switch when in flight cancels any takeoff D rates. Thrust reference is still displayed on the PFD and the reference thrust becomes full takeoff thrust. If the thrust levers are manually moved below 65 knots, the thrust levers will automatically reposition to the reference thrust limit. Hold remains engaged during takeoff until VNAV engagement. At this point, the auto throttle mode becomes thrust reference. At the thrust reduction point, the thrust limit changes to the selected climb thrust limit. The thrust reduction point can be defined as either a predetermined altitude 
or the selection of flaps 5. The thrust reduction point is entered in the FMS CDU during preflight and will be discussed in the FMS preflight module. Climb thrust can be manually selected above 400 feet radio altitude. The thrust levers retard toward the climb thrust limit and the thrust mode display changes to climb. The thrust switch can also be used to engage the auto throttle in flight. The thrust switch is deactivated on the ground. When the thrust switch is pushed during flight, the thrust levers advance to the selected climb thrust limit. Thrust reference is displayed on the PFD. Above 400 feet radio altitude, pushing the thrust switch changes the thrust limit to the selected climb thrust limit. Below 400, the thrust switch is disabled. If in flight level change or VNAV, selecting the thrust switch will change the thrust limit to the selected climb thrust. It will not change the auto throttle mode. Question. Answer A is correct. Question. Answer A is correct. Now, let's discuss the speed mode. Pushing the speed switch in flight engages the auto throttle speed mode and speed is displayed on the PFD. Speed switch is inactive if in the flight level change VNAV or TOGA mode. In the speed mode, the auto throttle holds the selected speed shown in the IAS mock window but will not exceed the selected thrust limit. In this example, the auto throttle will maintain 250 knots airspeed but will not exceed the climb thrust limit. The FMC provides minimum and maximum speed protection. The auto throttle will reduce to idle in an attempt to prevent placard speeds from being exceeded. An airflow sensor furnishes angle of attack information to provide minimum airspeed protection. Now let's discuss the flight level change mode. Pushing the flight level change switch engages the auto throttle and the autopilot flight director in the flight level change mode. As discussed in the autopilot module, while in the flight level change mode, the autopilot uses the elevator to maintain the speed displayed in the IAS mock window. The SPD in the pitch mode display indicates that the elevator is controlling speed. Adding thrust will allow the airplane to climb. Reducing thrust will allow the airplane to descend. Thrust is displayed for a flight level change climb, and thrust or idle is displayed for a descent. For a flight level change climb, the auto throttle increases thrust to obtain the required rate of climb. Thrust is displayed on the PFD since the required thrust is variable. The autopilot flight director uses the elevator to maintain the selected airspeed by varying the pitch angle. For a flight level change descent, Thrust is enunciated, then the autothrottle reduces thrust to achieve the desired rate of descent. 
Hold will be displayed on the primary flight display, PFD, after the autothrottle reduces thrust. The autopilot flight director uses the elevators to maintain the selected airspeed by varying the pitch angle. In flight level change, if the thrust levers are manually repositioned, throttle hold is displayed. The flight level change mode ends with an automatic level off. When the airplane captures an altitude, the auto throttle mode changes to speed and the pitch mode changes to altitude. When the autopilot flight director is operating in flight level change or in VNAV, pushing the vertical speed switch transfers the auto throttle to the speed mode. Question. Answer B is correct. As airspeed reaches 65 knots, throttle hold engages. Let's review our discussion of the auto throttle. The auto throttle is a full-time system which can be operated from the start of the takeoff roll through an automatic landing or go around. The thrust and speed switches affect only the auto throttle. The VNAV and flight level change switches affect the auto throttle and autopilot flight director pitch control. When thrust is selected, the auto throttle holds the selected climb thrust. In the speed mode, the auto throttle holds the speed set in the IAS mock window but will not exceed the thrust limit of the selected thrust mode. In the flight level change mode, the auto throttle controls thrust for automatic climbs and descents while the autopilot flight director pitch maintains the selected speed set in the IAS mock window. Thrust limits are activated from the FMS CDU. The selected limit is shown on the ICAS display. When throttle hold is active, hold is displayed on the PFDs and auto throttle control signals are removed from the thrust lever servo motor. This prevents the auto throttle from moving the thrust levers. Throttle hold activates when airspeed increases above 65 knots during takeoff, when the thrust levers are manually repositioned in flight level change, and when the thrust levers reach idle in flight level change and VNAV. Now let's discuss auto throttle disconnect. The auto throttle can be disconnected by pushing an auto throttle disconnect switch or by turning the auto throttle arm switch off. The auto throttle cannot be engaged with the arm switch off. When the auto throttle is disconnected, the light bar in the engaged mode switch will extinguish and the auto throttle display on the PFD is blanked. The auto throttle disconnects automatically when reverse thrust is selected or when an FMC thrust management function fault is detected. The ICAS caution message auto throttle disconnect indicates that the auto throttle has disconnected. Pushing an auto throttle disconnect switch or selecting an auto throttle mode resets the caution. Selecting an auto throttle mode also allows the auto throttle to re-engage. To prevent distractions during the landing rollout, the master caution lights and beeper are inhibited when the auto throttle is disconnected by reversing an engine. 
The PFD Auto Throttle Mode display is blanked. Question. Answer A is correct. Pushing an auto throttle disconnect switch or selecting an auto throttle mode resets the caution. Selecting an auto throttle mode also allows the auto throttle to re-engage. Question. Answer B is correct. In the speed mode, the thrust will not exceed the thrust limit for the selected thrust mode. In this case, climb limit is selected, so climb thrust is the reference limit and will not be exceeded.